but yeah, this is the look I'm hoping for, for the beams on the inside. All right, so it's been a while since I've recorded a whole lot. I've only been able to get up here for an hour or two at a time. Um, and it's taking quite a while to finish the last pieces. So let me show you what I have going on. As you take a look at this, I've gotten to where I'm above the doors and windows. I'm missing a total of four more beams. So one on top of each. And then I have to do the, uh, and then I have to do the mortise and tenon portion for the loft area. I have a good chunk of the beams I need. The rest that go on top are right here, including that slightly thicker one. That's the main beam that supports the, the loft area. And you can see what I have over here on the uh, sawmill. This one long beam will will be divided into three and that will support the top support beam of my roof as well as the eaves. So that's enough for that piece there. So we're getting close. Hopefully I get this done in the next month, but we'll see what I have going on. This is one of the beams we milled for a project that we're going to do later down the road. It's still just rough sawn and isn't finished or planed, but we decided to coat it in linseed oil to see if we could keep it from checking. And it's now been a few months since this video, and I can tell you it's worked very, very well. So it's easier too. Yeah, probably make your life easier. And I want a good deal of oil to soak in as well. The rest of the beams we finished and planed and gave this Shosugi Bond treatment to give it a darker color and a greater level of protection.
All right. It looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. I think overall it took less of the uh, less of the linseed oil on these than did uh, something that hadn't been cured and burnt. Um, so still took quite a bit, especially where I have a bunch of knots and it's really dry. You can just see it silk right in. But yeah, this is the look I'm hoping for for the beams on the inside. Mm -hmm.